Ace of Cups in reverse with the Five of Swords in reverse here. Pisces, someone broke your heart. Is it, baby? Someone broke your heart. There was unrequited love. This person that you loved, you gave and gave and gave. There was unconditional love here. But this person, unfortunately, did not reciprocate your love. Okay, someone who is sabotaging this connection. Okay, you're dealing with an individual here who sabotaged this connection. Okay. Someone who's played mind games with you all this while. I'm getting someone who runs away, okay, from their feelings. That's the kind of person you're dealing with. Someone who runs away from emotional vulnerability, okay, and you fought for this person, you waited for this person to change. There were huge communications between you guys. Communication can be a bitch between you guys, okay, for sure. And you're done, Finito, giving up on this situation, okay, no more. You're shutting yourself off to this person here. Or this person shutting themselves to you, okay? Because of which you're giving up on this connection. Okay, how it resonates. All right, give me Pisces. What are their energies towards this person that they're dealing with? What is Pisces energy towards the person they're dealing with? <clears throat> wow. Pisces, if this is you, you're holding back. You're holding back. You're not opening up. You're in the state of shutdown right now with this person here. Okay? You're being very selfish, very greedy with your energy, your love, your time. You're shielding your heart is what I'm getting, okay? Although you're holding on to this person tightly, okay? You're just choosing to withhold. You're being very closed off to them here. Because we have the magician here, okay? I feel you're silently manifesting this person here. Yeah? This could be this person too. You're realizing your true power, but you're manifesting a new beginning with this person here. But with the temperance here, I feel some by somehow you're trying to temper your emotions. You're tempering your passion for this person. Okay, you're going with the flow. Like if it's meant to be, it will. You're completely using law of attraction, Pisces. You're being very patient with the progress. Okay. I think you need your peace right now more than anything. That's why you're not overdoing things. Okay, you but you want a reconciliation for sure. But you're taking your time away, trying to stay away from drama, you know, cool, calm, collected, composed, just what you're trying. You're trying to heal from a breakup, okay, with this person. But, uh, yeah, I think this is something where you're waiting for the right time, okay? But you don't want to push it from your side, okay? Wow, that's beautiful. Give me this person's energies towards Pisces. What are these, what are this person's energies towards Pisces? This person, fuck, they're still stuck in the past. And they're holding back too. Beautiful. King of Pentacles here. This person was seeking commitment. Finally. Now again, you can switch the roles. Okay, this can definitely be you, Pisces. This can definitely be the person you're dealing with. Take it how it resonates, but I'm not going to confuse myself. So I'm going to hold this as Pisces and this as the person you're dealing with. The person you're dealing with, Pisces, this person holds a grudge against you. Okay, I think this person holds a grudge against you. Okay, or they're thinking of you in a very negative way. Okay. What I'm also getting is, that this person is replaying the past memories of an old hurt, okay? It's in, in their head, okay? And they're not letting off, so letting go of something. This is painful memories, right? And three for the four of pentacles, they are being closed off to you because this person is not ready to let go of something that happened to them in their past. See, that's why that sabotaging energy, right? Yeah, Pisces, baby, it's not your fault. Seriously, it's not your fault here. If you agree that you've damaged this person in the past, then well, okay, then it's you because why they, why they're so shut down here. If you feel this is not you, I think it's not you because see, Ace of Cups here, you've given this person your all, right? Only to get nothing back in return. This person's staying closed off, okay? They don't want to open up. Again, King of Pentacles here. They're wanting to come towards you, okay? With something stable, something secure, committed, long-term marriage, whatever have you. But they're staying closed off because of whatever happened in the past. Either this person hasn't moved on from what happened in the past. Someone really screwed them over and they haven't released and forgiven, okay? Or they're just, yeah, that's the only reason here. That's why they keep replaying it, right? And every time those memories come to the picture, maybe you're triggering something in them, okay? Which is making them, reminding them of the past over and over again because of which they're shutting down, okay? And they feel it's their safe corner, shutting down. They don't want to go through what they went through in the past. And you are the other hand here, my beautiful angels, you're just doing your bit. You're just being with the flow. Let God, let, let, let it be. You know, like, let be, let God. 
actually. Tell me how does Pisces view this person? <coughs> how does Pisces view this person that they're dealing with? Hangman and the Ten of Swords in reverse here. I think you view this person as someone here who wants to revive this connection, but they're not doing anything about it. <clears throat> Pisces, you're dealing with someone here who's just being very slow moving to take action towards you. Okay. Again, clearly with the Ten of Swords in reverse here, you do see this person as someone who feels backed up, betrayed. Okay. But you see them as someone who's hit rock bottom and they're wanting to recover from the breakup. Okay. <coughs> Definitely looking at someone who wants to reconcile or want to get this, who wants to get this relationship back, okay? But I feel you look at this person and they don't know how to do it. The hangman is someone here, you know, who just like thinks, 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 you know? They're just there, you know, like just um, hanging from the tree. <clears throat> they're trying to see things from another, every corner, okay? But someone here who's just seeing things from another perspective, okay, but they're not doing anything about the situation, right? They're standing still and waiting for the right time. I feel this person also, you see this person is going through transformation, okay, and that's the pause. <coughs> How does this person view Pisces? <coughs> yeah. <laughs> This person sees you as someone who's let go of a relationship A that was very toxic, B that probably had a thought party, and four of wands in reverse, double in reverse, and the four of wands in reverse. This person sees you as releasing a situation that was non committal or releasing a situation where you guys were just not being able to come together. There was a lack of harmony, lack of coming together, lack of um, being together. Okay, this is a family situation here. Four of Wands is also a commitment card, a marriage card, okay? They feel that you've released yourself from a situation that you once thought you could have long term with. And probably because there was a, there was nothing stable and secure between you guys. And they see you as someone, you know, who's let go of something toxic. Or I'm getting more like they see you as detaching from a situation that you once wanted very bad with them. That's what I'm getting. Why is all this happening? I mean, why is all this happening to Pisces? Do the card flip? Give me why is all this happening? <coughs> Ace of Pentacles. There is a golden opportunity here, okay, for you guys to get together, reconcile, and get into something stable, committed, secure. But still, this is a one-sided situation here and the problem here is that someone's still not putting in the work, the effort to get things balanced, to get that reciprocity, to have that equal give and take. Because with the seven of pentacles here, there's somebody who's just waiting and watching, okay, waiting and watching to uh, invest into this. I think someone you're dealing with is very slow moving. Yes, you are with the temperance here, but this person, you're right about them with the hangman here, okay. They're just watching, they're not doing anything about it. This is someone waiting, okay. For something to get into balance and that's when they'll work out. When that's when they'll think. They'll think of making things work out. Seven of Pentacles, really, it's a very, it's like you have to wait for a very, 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 very long time to get the things that you want, okay? To achieve the results that you desire. It's going to take too much patience and this person is really testing your patience, okay? They're not even ready to give in to the situation right now, okay? I mean, they know that things were not fair. They know they gave you the bare minimum, you know? But, um, okay. Someone here, I'm just getting who was very selfish, you know, like they didn't want to put in the work and they wanted you to put in all the work or something like that. But again, this is what you, this is why is all this happening because someone's just waiting on investing into a connection, waiting on, you know, they took more than they could give. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. And that's why some things feel imbalanced here. Okay. But yeah, this person is just taking forever. Okay. And they're waiting very patiently. I mean, seven of pentacles, right? That's like, that takes a lot of patience, you know, than most people are capable of withstanding is what I'm getting, okay? But this person is just waiting, contemplating, re-evaluating the situation, you know, should I, should I not, or what's the best way, etc. What's the best possible outcome for Pisces? They're coming in. They're coming in with an apology. But doesn't look like you're going to give them a chance. You're going to be like, save it. You know what, baby? Save it. 
is what I'm hearing. Because with the Knight of Swords here, with the Knight of Cups here, with the Judgment in Reverse here, I don't think that you're going to give something a second chance here. You're going to be very indecisive. So I'm getting two scenarios here. Okay. This person stuck on you. 100%. Okay. They cannot move on from you. So take it from me. They cannot move on from you. Okay. You're doing awesome Pisces. Okay. This person's holding back and they see you as someone who's completely detached. Okay. Now I'm getting two scenarios. Either this person is being indecisive, think, keeping things on the edge. That's why there's a lack of reconciliation. They're thinking they keep in two minds about wanting to come towards you, give you that love offer, give you that commitment, open up emotionally, express themselves, get vulnerable. Okay. Although they want to with the Knight of Swords here, they're wanting to come in like they could have wanting to come yesterday. This person wants to confront you. They want to have communication. But somewhere, somehow here, yeah, now I'm getting two scenarios, like I said. Either they're very indecisive, which is stopping them from taking action towards you with the Knight of Cups here, or this person's coming in, but there is, there, there is a very slim chance of slim chance of having a reconciliation because you don't want to give something an opportunity again, you know? I feel with the judgment in reverse here, this could be you, Pisces. I mean, why not, right? It can go vice versa. I'm just going to give you both the scenarios. The judgment in reverse is also right when someone does not want to repeat their past mistakes or someone who's just avoiding a reconciliation, right? But if you're doing that, maybe judgment in reverse is also making a bad judgment call, right? It's making a bad de that decision. I feel this is this person. That's it. My Pisces never makes strong decisions. All right. Don't put it in the comments below. That's not what I meant. What I mean is that, yes, Pisces can be wrong. I'm not saying that. I'm just feeling more of this person here. They want to come in towards you, but judgment in reverse. This is stopping them from moving towards you because there's a lot of fear, a lot of self-doubt that's holding back. Okay. That's what I have for you, Pisces. Hope this reading resonates with you. To leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.